Hello everybody, my name is Frankie Love. I'm trying to be quiet right now. So, uh, recently I did a rabbit video. Uh, I think it was yes, last week. And after the day after that, I was informed that my voice is kind of hoarse right now. I was informed the neighbor who was next to the rabbit burrow take note next like they don't own that spot he he threatened she threatened to close the rabbit burrow because she doesn't like the rabbits and that's the doshante she threatened to close the rabbit burrow I found this out through the driver that was working for them warned me so because he doesn't want to kill the rabbits that's why he warned me and he said I should take them before he has to do what he has to do and he has to do it because he doesn't want to get fired I understand that which is okay with me um, they didn't enclose the rabbit burrow after I got the rabbit so I'm guessing that's all bullshit and they just wanted me to get the rabbits out of there I don't know why either it's because I think it has a big part I'm doing laundry by the way if you're wondering what those things are I think she only said all of those things because she doesn't want the rabbits going into her garden which by the way is not part of her property I know this because my mom's a real estate agent could report her and say like she she's using a property that's not hers but I don't want that because I love this place it's peaceful and I don't want to start a neighborly feud with my Indian neighbors yes I have to point out they're Indian because I've read somewhere that Indians think rabbits are her witches I'm not sure also said that rabbits are unhealthy meat. I, I'm not being racist here. It's just based on my research. And I don't want anybody to get mad at Indian people because of it. Because I know some people really love rabbits as much as I do. I'm just pointing out what may be the reason that they wanted the baby rabbits out of there. I didn't want to touch them because it might make them trust people more and people might just take advantage of that and take them with them and yes I said I'm okay with rabbits getting stolen from me because they're doing it for their kids but at the same time I'm not because you don't know what's happening to them you you can't just visit the family that stole your rabbit and see what happens so um, I'm going to show you what I have done to my rabbits Take note, I am not happy about this. I wanted them to roam free. Like my, that's my sister. Ow! Fuck! You fucking cat! I love you, but ah! ah. Stop it! I'm trying to make a video here! No, uh, it's your freaking cat's attacking my feet. That's my sister, by the way. I'm talking about the rabbits in the incident. Hello, Nina. So I had to take them to the old cage that I put Snow White and Jon Snow in in my dormitory. Because I had no choice. Cats were trying to kill them and they didn't have a place to stay. Place. Exactly, they didn't own the place. That's why I'm, I'm mad about stop, it. Stop. So I had to cover them up because of the sunlight. And take note that I don't place them in one spot. I have to move them around. Which is really hard for me. But it's okay. Because I'm taking care of them. And that's all of them. I still don't have your complete genders because Christian Grey apparently has mites. 
balls or her vagina. So I had to take care of those mites first. So say bye bye. You don't talk. Say bye bye. I'm gonna go eat now. And that's the cat. That's my sister. They don't attack the rabbits, by the way. They are harmless kitties. Except Shaite, he attacks feet. Hey, me again. So, like I said before, the rabbit has mites. I'm gonna show you how to take care of them. Let me just get a rabbit with mites. Hey guys, it's voiceover Frankie again, and I'm using the voiceover because I didn't actually speak in this part of the video. And when I did, it was usually arguing with my sister. So this is Christian Grey. Christian Grey has mites on his balls and his vagina. Again, I'm not sure. And I'm going to treat him. First off, you have to lay down the towel and you have to check Christian Grey or your rabbit for any mites on the face or in the ears. Now he has one on his balls or his vagina. Her. I don't know. So some of them can't calm down as you saw. And god damn it, get off. So you just lay down the towel. I'm actually using a doormat because we actually ran out of towels. So you just wrap them around like a little burrito. And then uh, flip them over. Make sure that you are supporting their butts with your hand. And then once you've done that, you take your baby oil. I usually like to use baby oil. Some people uh, use massage oil and coconut oil, but I don't want to do that because coconut oil sometimes attracts ants and I don't want rabbits to get bitten, especially in areas in their nether regions. So you just put a little tap on it. You don't have to wipe it. The rabbits will do that for you. Some people do like to wipe it, but sometimes people force it to be taken off so it would injure the rabbit. And I don't want that. After that, you just flip them over and you take them out of the burrito slowly. You start calming them down by petting them. Just pet them. After that, I did feed Christian Grey some bread because he loves bread and it's his favorite and it kind of you know gives them a little association like oh if I do this if I'm being a good rabbit if I'm being treated for this I get to have a little treat okay so that's it and um, I have some news on my next video about the bunnies say bye bye Christian Grey bye bye if you like this video like and subscribe for more. And thank you all so much for watching. Anyways, gotta go. Bye!